Hello everyone, welcome to Vibe and Estate Gems. I am Lily G and I appreciate you being here. Be sure and like and subscribe and follow for more videos. I know it's been a hot minute since I have actually done a video. There are a lot of reasons for that. Um, so who am I? Well, I am Lily G and I sell jewelry and other things um, to help support my son who has a progressive MS. And so that's sort of what I do. I love jewelry. I have a passion for it, not just selling it, but thrift, not thrifting it necessarily, but estate sales are more my jam and auctions and so on. Um, that's more of what I enjoy. So what I have here is actually a, um, this is a Goodwill blue box. Yeah, I know. I said I'd never buy another one. So I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the Goodwill blue boxes, I haven't bought one in probably a year and a half, two years. I don't know. They've gone up in price. So this was 54 bucks. So the goal is, even though I'm spinning my shop down, FYI, so I'm going to be posting a video in a few days about a box that isn't like this one. That's actually one of the of stuff that I've collected that I'm selling in my eBay store right now. And I know some of you are like, oh, you know, I don't do eBay and blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> I think people have to do them. And I really like to encourage everybody, men, women, whoever, um, can you make money selling online? Yes. Um, does it take time to grow your business? Yes. Um, do you need to invest a whole lot of money and hoard a bunch of jewelry? No, you can start small. Um, Goodwill Blue Box, uh, maybe three years ago to four years ago, used to be a way to start. You would definitely find things like this, sterling silver rings and pieces of gold and, you know, vintage things and amazing things in there. Um, it, I have honestly have never found anything other than one time I found two Baltic amber necklaces and I think they thought they were plastic and just chucked them in there because they didn't know. Outside of that, I really, I really never have gotten anything that fantastic. I'm not impressed. Um, so we're going to dig into this $54 box. And like I said, I have one that's 60. It's 10 times as big as this. It has got new vintage brand name stuff in it and it's fantastic and I'm going to show everything to you. It's also got some sterling in it, not a whole lot because you know I still sell sterling and gold but that's really, I'm kind of getting into more of that because sterling and gold jewelry and name brand stuff is really kind of more more my foray if you will. And if you see my latest baby, so this is Ilikaka Sapphire. This is my new acquisition um, on the sides. You can't really tell but it's all done in gorgeous detail and I'm loving it. It's my new favorite thing, so I just wear it constantly. Um, yeah, so if you haven't known about me, I love sterling silver, white gold, and platinum. I just think that looks better on my half Hispanic skin. <laughs> it just does, so it is what it is with that. So I hope you guys are doing really, really well, and I hope, you know, we've made it through the pandemic, mostly, almost, I don't know, and um, a lot of things have happened. I've been working a lot, um, and, and I lost someone very, very dear to me, and I just couldn't do videos. I couldn't bring myself to do it. And then I said to myself, you know, they would want me to continue to do that. So, in lieu of them, in honor of them, um, I went ahead and decided to jump back in. So, I hope you guys like this video. And, yeah, so let's just get into it. Goodwill Blue Box. Let's see oh, what she has. So, let's see. What do we have? This already makes me salty. I'm a salty suit right here. Can you see this? This is a child's bracelet. What am I going to do with that? It's plastic. You can't even beat with it. So let's take it out of the box. It's nice though that it's, it came in plastic. I have gotten blue boxes where it's just all thrown in a box willy nilly. This at least looks, oh my gosh, you guys. It's, ugh, it's heavy. It's heavy yeah. So this is it. This is the blue box. Um, child's bracelet. Not impressed. Looks like a bunch of those bracelets that you get that are, you know, like really anything to write home about. Some Kakui nuts. That's what those are. Um, I think that Kakui nuts. Yeah. I think that's what they are. Um, yeah. Necklaces. Hand knotted probably. Yeah. They're kind of, you know, funky and bohemian if that's your jam. All right. So let's get into it. Let's see what there is. I'm excited. I haven't looked at it yet. I have no idea. I'm noticing this. Is this foam? What is this? Oh. You know how it is with a blue box. Whenever you pull anything out, there's always a million other things. This is super pretty. 
Oh man, look, it's broken. That sucks. You could glue it. This looks like bone to me, like this part's bone. I don't think this is though. I think this is acrylic, but I could be wrong. It looks like, yeah, it's broken pretty much. Man, it's really pretty though. It's a stretchy bracelet. It'd be really cool to, you know, break the components and make something cool and funky with it if it was your thing, you know, bone. It might be wooden. I'd have to get the, the loop out. I didn't bring the loop in with me, so I don't know. Um, I can kind of feel like maybe it's bone. Yeah, I think this part's bone and this may be some kind of wood. Really pretty though, but you know, it's definitely a not a keeper. <laughs> it's something to go in a, in a scrap lot. All right, what's this gold guy? First off, you know what we're gonna do? Oh, it's so blingy, darling. We're gonna take this. This is my new, I've got the little um, arm here that comes out. The arm of, you know, magnets here. Um, yeah, so she's magnetic. She's really pretty. Wouldn't it have been stunning? It's very Byzantine looking. If this would have been solid gold filled with diamonds. Oh yes, wouldn't that have been fabulous? This is in really beautiful shape. Where is the clasp? It has a nice clasp, as you can see. Um, it says JBK. JBK, does that ring a bell for you? So it is magnetic, so it isn't fine jewelry. It could be fine, I mean, you know, like fine costume or something. Really, really pretty. I can't think, it's not J. J Crew. It's not Kenneth Cole, JBK, I don't know. Joan Rivers, no. I don't know. Really gorgeous though, look at that. Look at the big nugget, it's heavy too. It's not tarnished at all. So this would definitely be a sellable piece. You just have to research who JBK is. Um, oh, I should know this. Can, uh, what's his name? Um, no, it's not Kenneth J. Lane. That's what I was thinking. Okay, no, I don't know. I was thinking it might be Kenneth J. Lane. I've sold some beautiful Kenneth J. Lane pieces. Um, so I don't know who JBK is. JBK, I have your necklace. These Byzantinian looking things. Aren't they cool? Components, I like them. All right, yeah, that's, my, that's not my jam, but it might be your jam, I don't know. So probably 15 bucks on that, depending on you know what it is. If it comes from Nordstrom's, I'd probably still say that. All right, it looks to me, I'm excited about this. Let me, let me get this out. This I'm excited about this. What is this? This is rose quartz. Check that out. You know I love gemstones, and this is one of my favorites. Rose quartz. It's supposed to help you feel better, be in a better mood, bring you love and light, if you're into that kind of thing, which I'm not, but whatever. Got a barrel clasp. It's not too, not too shabby there. Um, I don't know. I, this looks like things that I could pick up at my mine store for like $25. It looks like it's about 18 inches. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's really pretty. Very sellable. Um, probably between 15 and 25, depending. Rose quartz is really hot right now. Um, in every cottage core, as far as, you know, colors and color matching and so on. It's very popular in that style. Let me just move this top away so I can drag things out. Oh, here's one of these little vintagey, stretchy weirdness. Missing stones. Ew, I don't want to touch it. Gross. <laughs> it has hair in it. <clears throat> hair, I don't care. This is kind of cute. It looks like it has little diamonds in it. It's very, you know, diminutive and kind of uh, barely there. Ooh, it's sparkly. Um, it is tarnished. You because you you because, I don't know what that means. <laughs> you guys probably can't tell, but uh, it's tarnished. But it's super pretty. You know, um, it's kind of you know if you like that kind of uh, um, not diminutive. That isn't the word I'm looking for. You like petite kind of things. That would be your um, minimalistic. Hey, the train came back around. Do, 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 do. Hey, what do you know? Uh, that probably going a lot. What do we have here? Oh my gosh, it's a sea anemone. <laughs> it's a sea anemone. Okay, yeah. Bad dad jokes. Oh my gosh, turn it over, Laura. All right, Lola, what are you looking at here? Ooh, look at that. That's very special and fabulate. Look at that. That's Beryl Emeraldine, sort of what? 30s with the little hanging things. This is an earring. Oh, I hope the other one's in here. It's in beautiful condition. It is not signed. Is it magnetic? Ooh, let's take up. Oh, it's magnetic. Look at that. How stunning. 
Then we have some just like earring bits and bob and these are shell pieces, but it's crap. Oh, look, it's one of those lovely lace necklaces we wore in the 90s that had a small revival. And then I had like a hundred of these. They were new, though. So. Um, yeah, no, you can't. I'm not going to sell that. <laughs> this is nice. Is it magnetic? Oh, uh, yeah, it is. It's kind of long. Lavalier. Lavalier, darling. It's pretty. Probably 32 inches. And uh, just a long kind of ma very magnetic, probably Charming Charlie or Kato or something like that. It's got a lobster claw. Robster claw. Definitely nice there. What's this? Um, These look like cat's eye glass beads. I love the kind of like tribal looking uh, kind of panel that we have going on. It's just a stretch bracelet. It's pretty... Uh, the, the strings on these that, that really get me when people wear them a lot. <laughs> Here we make my, my noises that I make. This looks interesting. It looks like a brass bangle wrapped with copper. And you can, how do you know it's copper? You can see blue oxidization. So this would clean up really nice and actually be a really nice piece to sell the brass and the copper wrapped together. It is not signed. There's some more blue oxidization. It could be copper. Very nice. This isn't a bad piece necessarily. I mean, men could wear these. It's brutalistic. It's minimalistic. Um, you know, anyone could wear these. Any any person could wear it. It's a person bracelet. Um, yeah, so it's not too bad. I mean, it'll clean up beautifully with some Brasso. Um, clean that up. And uh, yeah, so definitely probably $12 on that. So we're trying to make our $54 back. So $12 on that. Um, what I say on this, I'd probably do, depending on what it was, probably $10 to $12 on that. $10 on the rose quartz, although I like it because it's got silver, but I don't wear things tightly around my neck. I just wear my sapphire right now. If I find the other one, I would definitely, if I was selling stuff like this right now, I would sell these for between $8 and $12. All right, here's a bangle. Oh, it looks like Kate Spade kind of, doesn't it? This, you probably can't pick it up. This has a, just almost a, it looks white, but it's got a pale kind of greeny gray to it. Um, Is it signed? It is indeed. It is a Monet piece. So yeah, I probably do between eight and $10 on that. It's Monet. It's really pretty. Um, I think it's modern Monet though. Probably eight bucks on that. Yeah. All right. Here is one of these vintage, my mom said, pulled this out and she said, oh, I had one of these back in the 50s. These were super popular. The nice thing about these is you can take these gorgeous rhinestones and use them for crafting. So they're super nice with that. Um, but this one's a little overstretched, but uh, the, the neat thing is this isn't on, it's actually, these are metal in between here. I don't know if you can see that or not. And that's what sort of makes it extra special. I don't know. This is really vintagey, so I don't know if I would sell this or not. It's in beautiful condition still. It's just a little bit loved. Um, I'd have to clean it up. It's got a little bit of patina on the back of it. It's not sterling. It's not missing any rhinestones. I don't know. I probably craft it out. Yeah. What's this? Oh, it's plastic. Plastic, literally probably eight inch choker. <laughs> is this for your neck? <laughs> I mean, what? This is what is this for your knee? This wouldn't would this fit on my neck? I don't think so. It's like 12 inches. Maybe if you're 10. New York and Company. That's a nice brand. Uh, it's not my bag, but it might be yours. I'd probably sell that for five dollars, four dollars, five dollars, something like that. I'll probably put it in a lot though. Um, what's this? Oh my gosh, I think we have an owl. Oh my gosh. So this is gonna go in my collection because right, you can't see, but right over there, someday I'll show you, my shadow boxes are living and I have a lot of little pendity things like this. I love owls, I collect them. Um, I don't go, you know, like gangbusters with it or anything, I just have a small collection. And what does, 1987? Oh, Aeropostal. Remember when Aeropostal was a thing? Yeah. So a uh, little owl is going to be mine. I also love the color. Now, if this was in better shape, I would wear this, you know, back in the day, but not anymore. I don't wear long lavaliers anymore. But yeah, so that'll be mine. I'll be keeping that, all right? 
What else do we have? What is this? These are fun. Party. Party beads. Party. Do they sound like a party? I like the way they feel in my hand. I'm gonna do ASMR. Do you like these beads? Am I putting you to sleep? No, you're annoying me. S-A-F. <laughs> these are really unusual. They're not a gemstone though. They're plastic. They're plastic. My dog just came in and checked on me like, are you okay? She's just standing there looking at me like, what are you doing? Um, really cool colored though. Great to bead with. Would be really cool for crafts. Um, no markings or anything, but really pretty colors if they were glass. Not real sure I wouldn't keep them just because I think they're cool, but they're plastic. That goes in a lot. Oh, here's Kukui Nut <clears throat> or whatever they are. Look, they're, they're really kind of interesting. I've seen these. I have a bracelet out of these that's actually coated in black and then it's hand painted. These are kind of boring <laughs> in comparison to that. Oh, and then they tie across your neck. Typically, I've seen these from Hawaii made in, oh, the Philippines. Okay, cool. So if you're maybe from the Philippines, do you know, are these kukui nuts? Correct me if I'm wrong, y'all. What are they? I know they're some kind of nut thing. But very bohemian and cool and a long necklace. Probably about 30 inches, I want to say. Nifty, nifty. Go with everything. Um, I personally haven't had good luck selling these. That beautiful bracelet that I have um, hasn't sold. And I think I had like $8 on it, which was, it looks brand new. These are really pretty. They're, they still have the tag on them, so they're new. But um, I probably wouldn't sell them. I'd probably put them in a lot. Um, so, so far, I'm not really impressed with $54 blue box. No, I'm not. Now, I love these beads, and they're glass. I like these for crafting. They would be stunning, wouldn't they? Wouldn't they be pretty? They're pink, and they're all like my crystal chandelier that you can't see over my head. I think it's so birdie. It's birdie. I told you guys before, I have to not talk. That's dog language. Oh, you're so birdie. Then dogs are going to come in here like, I'm pretty. Yeah, so those are glass, and they'll go in a, in a craft lot, and they're not signed. What is this? This is up. Oh, there she is. I'm pretty. Are you pretty? Yeah, you are. Oh, here she comes. <laughs> Hi, Sue. Sophie Sue Poodle. Are you pretty? Yeah. You want to do jewelry? You got your jewelry on. Where's your necklace? Oh, she's going to cry now because she wants a treat. No, you will play. But yeah, so um, now you hear dog paws. Yes, the sisters. Um, this isn't sterling. It just is a little metal. It's got a lot of, uh, I don't know. Let's see. No, it's, yeah, a lot. <laughs> oh, what's this? What's this beautifulness? I'm going to hypnotize you. Ooh, look at that. Um, there's an earring thing. I don't know. He'll go over there. This is gorgeous. Is this lucky? It looks like a lucky brand thing. Lucky makes a lot of statement pieces that look like that. Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. Let me pick it up. Ooh, that is beautiful. Does it unscrew? Oh, please unscrew. No. I like this. Is that a real bead? No. So these are just crystals. It's in beautiful condition. Um, is it magnetic? Is it copper? Ah, oh, that's magnetic. This part isn't though, it's probably brass. I could clean it up. Um, yeah, I'd probably do $15 on that, it's gorgeous. Uh, it's about mm, probably 18 inches. This thing right here, this big mama gemma is very heavy, so really pretty. I have to do some research on it. Look at the beautiful little flowerette on the bottom, that's stunning. I like that, that's pretty. I fit your bag. What's this? Oh, we have caged, this is an interesting earring. Look at, there's beads in a cage, beads in a cage. Beads in a cage. I don't know, you guys. It seemed like a thing to do. Oh, I have your love ring. If this is your pajam. It says love. Ooh, oh, it's made out of wood and acrylic. Ooh, oh, it'll go in a lot. Um, then we have lovely fishing wire. You know I love that. Hmm. Which is code for I don't. This is interesting. It's kind of pretty. Tiger's eye. Yeah, okay. And we have some agate here. Natural beads, yeah. It's in really good condition. Who does it belong to? Oh, New York and Company. Now I have sold New York, I've had luck with selling New York and Company. It depends on the style. This is very natural looking um, and minimalistic and 
if you're a, you know, you love tiger's eye and natural stones, definitely, and gold, it would definitely be. It's probably about 18 inches long, um, double road. It's really, really pretty. It looks like topaz here, but I think this is glass. Uh, yeah, New York and Company does some really pretty statement pieces. So I'd probably go um, between six and eight dollars on that. Are we at $54 yet? No, we are not. I can answer the question. No, we are not. Another kind of fishing wire kind of necklace. This is another New York and Company, I think. Yeah. So these pearls, I think, are real. I'm not rubbing them on my teeth, though, guys. It's not going to happen. Plastic, plastic, kind of cat's eye looking bead. Um, but the pearls are real. They're not faux. Um, yeah, so that's really pretty. Again, probably 16 inches. It isn't very... It isn't very long. It'd be really pretty on this pink tablecloth that we had for Easter here. Um, yeah, that's really, really pretty. Yeah, what do you think? So there we go. That'd be another piece you could sell. What do we have here? Ooh, that'd be a neat. I may glue this on my tree that I have that I've made for my aunts. Although she's missing um, a, a crystal that I could replace it, but I just don't know if I want to. Is it signed? It is... What does it say? It says, bum, ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum. it says, uh, what does it say? Oh, Lola, Lola, oh, Lola, why you no bring? Why didn't I bring in my dupe? Well, it is signed. I think it says Avon, to be honest, or Monet or something. Anyway, it's got those pad things on it. That's kind of gross. Um, but it's a clip earring. We'll see if the other one turns up. I don't know. This is interesting. What do we got going on here? It's gold. Tassels. Are you tassely? Oh, you're so tassely. I will tell you where I put my tassels. Well, that was not okay. All right. I hang them from my ears. All right. So these are, these are plastic. So it's a necklace of some sort. Looks like a double, double row necklace. And what's your name? Do you have a name? What your name? I had a little girl ask me that the other day. What your name? And her little southern accent. I just almost, I just was like, I'm taking you home. You're the cutest ever. What your name? And then I said, what your name? She said, my name, Chelsea. Chelsea. So what does this say? Charming sisters. Are you all charming sisters out there? I think you are. All you all charming sisters. I want to encourage all of you charming sisters. All right. Hey, I know what I want to tell you guys. If you get a chance, check out um, my buddy. She's not a buddy, actually. She's just some, someone that I follow. <laughs> she, um, Her name is Flannery, F-L-A-N-N-E-R-Y, Grace, G-R-A-C-E, Good. She is an amazing jewelry artist. I'm talking cool off the chain. She makes these locust pendants, and I love... Um, the stones, all natural stones, but she is a, you know, she makes the jewelry from stem to stern herself. It, you know, pieces like this. She made these, I want to say nasty word, um, pendants and the nasty words weren't my thing, but I wanted one that said go away on it. <laughs> Cause I just think that's funny. Leave me alone. Go away. That's my jam. The kids will, my kids will come in. And I'm just like, leave me alone. Go away. I don't, I don't know. And they're like, whoa, mom. Okay, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, this is a double strand and it's just plastic. It's in a little bit of tattered condition. It's probably really magnetic. Yeah, I I mean, I haven't researched the brand, but I mean, you could definitely sell it for, you know, five, six, eight dollars, depending. Depending on what your jam is. It's not my jam though. Ooh, what's this? This is like a little, what, necklace of some sort? Ooh, it got on my finger. And it's very magnetic, so we will put that in the buy pile. And then we have, oh, we have a fishing. Look, it's a fishing lure. <laughs> I'm joking. Oh, it's like a clip earring that someone took and put a dangly earring on. Now, the clip earring is signed, but I don't know what it says. It says, you are ridiculous. No, that's not what it says. Um... Better not say 14 karat gold on there. I don't think it does. I think it says something. I hate it when I don't bring the loop. The loop is in the other room. I'm not going to get it. All right. I don't know. But it's not gold. It's magnetico. Oh, it's not magnetic. You don't know. 
I'll have to take a look and see if that says 14 karat on there. I don't think it does. Uh, China? I don't know. Anyway, we'll take a look at that. And then we have Mr. Earring. And the earrings are actually shell. So that wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing. So we're going to undo the earring. The earring did not, I, don't, I believe, come with that necessarily. And I don't think these are gold. No, it's very magnetic. So that goes in the uh-oh pile. And then we have, what is this monstrosity? What is it? Let me, let me see. Let me make the noise. Is it Bakelite? No, Bakelite goes, makes a loud noise. I think it's wooden. It goes clunk, clunk, clunk. Bakelite has a very, you can bang Bakelite together and it has a very distinctive sound. This is wooden. Do you guys know what this is? To me, it's got, this is very Mexican. That We have a lot of um, statements like this. My dad loved donkeys. I don't know why. Anyway, um, burros, yeah. But this, I don't know what to think. Do you know what it is? It's not signed. It's very retro looking to me. Like, you know, Republicans everywhere could rejoice over the, whatever this is. Is that their thing? I don't even know. Um, but, or if you just like burros, you like little donkeys. I don't know. Chunky, chunky bracelet. I'm talking super chunky, y'all. Super chunky, very chunky, beautiful condition. I have no idea. I'm stumped. Do you guys know what it is? I think it's wooden. Yeah. Do you know? Hit me up if you know what it is in the comments. I have no idea. Um, I'd probably charge $15 for that. Just the heaviness, the weight of it, it's well made. It's never been worn. There are no skin cells on the inside. So I don't think I'd have to do anything but wipe that one down. What? Oh gosh. Here's the, here is the every Goodwill box that you get has one of these, I feel like. You know what I'm saying? It's got this little necklace in it that has the little triangles on it. It's crap. <laughs> Somebody loved it at one point. It's been well loved. I shouldn't say it's crap because someone really loved it. And that, you know, when something's been well loved, you gotta have respect for that. Somebody really loved it. I see something fabulous though. I'm getting excited about that. This is not it. This is more fishing wire. So I think this says New York and Company again. Yeah, New York and Company. Yeah, um, I'm not a big fan of fishing wire. I do like the color, the red, just a little hint of kind of minimalistic stuff here. I think that's pretty. It's acrylic. Um, it's not stretched out or anything. I'd probably do three or four dollars on that, uh, you know, if it was your thing. Um, definitely nicer. These are probably not, yeah, they're very, mm, look at that. Magnetico. I am Magneto. Look, look, it's like a butterfly. All right, enough of that. Yeah, so those will go in the craft lot. Ooh, what is this? Are these rosary beads? Oh, please don't tell me these are rosary beads. Golly day. You're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me. Oh, you glob. What is this? Oh, fluff it. What does it say? It says something. It says J. Crew. Very nice. I love these kind of um, spring clasps. They look like anchors. Anchors away, my friend. Okay, yeah. No singing. All right, let's, oh, come on, globs. My little arthritic fingers are like, no, girl, we're not even gonna try, girl. Forget you, Jack. All right, there we go. That's really pretty. Uh, 24 inches long and gold and plastic, but really well made. Needs to be a little bit cleaned up and washed with some Brasso, but well made. I think it's Magnetico. Let's try the other end, Lola. Oh, Lola, that's pretty. I'd probably do $8 on that. Because J. Crew is pretty. And when you buy it, oh, look, there's a, there's an earring. I wonder if we can find the other one. It's not a real pearl ring. Earring. It is, is not a real pearl earring. We'll put him in craft for now. Holy craft. What's this? Oh, look. Look here. We found pearls in a box, pearls in the wire, bird on the wire. Come on now. Where'd you go? Oh, here they are. So if you're looking for your beads, they have been captured in these earrings, these black stunning beads and this mesh work here. These are in really good shape, definitely sellable, you know, for six or seven dollars. Um, I love the shiny bead. They're trapped. They're trapped in the matrix. I like it. They're dangly. Ooh. They're a little bit heavy though. They're a little, they're a little bit heavy, clink, clink, clink. Um, so I don't know. Those may, those are probably going to go in my lot here. This is really pretty. 
It's not signed, but look at that. Look at this kind of fall-ish. Oh, you guys, I got to get it in the, in the... That is really pretty kind of fall-ish statements. This is all plastic. Probably Kato, Walmart, something like that. But very, very nice. Um, I'll probably put it in a lot, though. But, ooh, this is the piece de resistance. Now, if it was sold correctly, and I have sold one of these, not one of these per se, if it's who I think it is, from the weight of it. Let's see. Is it? Yes. So this is Talbot's. Um, I think Talbot's is so bougie. I sold a red crystal necklace that was just stunning. It had been $150 retail price, and I think I got $60 out of it. This one is in immaculate condition. Gray is everything right now. In fact, I'm very drawn to this, not because of the bling, but just the gray. I love gray. Do you guys love gray? I love gray. And the blue, it's just stunning. So, so pretty. And you could wear that. Think about this. Picture it. Torn denim jeans. Okay, you know how that, that's how we do. And then you've got on your summer boots, white t-shirt, black leather jacket, or denim. This piece with it, with pearl colored earrings like that. Stunning. You would be a stunner. A stunner. You'd be a stunner. You would be so gorgeous, darling. I would love it. Um, yeah. So if this was silver, I would be keeping this, even though I would never wear it. Because things around my neck like that make me crazy. Like, for real, I can't. I feel like it's choking me. I love it on other people, but on me, I'm just like, no, stop it. Wow. But I can't get over the beauty of it. It's stunning. Immaculate condition. I don't think the person ever who had it before loved it. I don't think they did. You could love it. This piece um, was probably retail for between uh, $89 and $125 retail. Talbot's isn't inexpensive for their jewelry. Um, it's quite bougie if you go in there, if you've ever been in there. Um, I think that I would sell this probably between uh, 45 and $50, depending. Uh, it's in great condition. It's immaculate. Um, and it could go with everything. You dress it up, dress it down, do, do with it as you will. Um, it absolutely screams looks. I am luxurious. I am here to stay. I am in the room. I'm a goddess. That's what it screams. So I might sell this as it slips over here to the selling pile. I don't know because it is so gorge, really. All right, let's see what this says. What's this? Elephants. Elephants. And, uh, what is it? A head full of boozle is very confusal. I'm giving away my Winty Poo now. Winty Poo. That's what my kids called it when they were little. This has a patina on it. Um, I don't think that this kind of patina, it might be silver plated. My guess is it's brass and nickel silver. Um, so I'm going to give it a whirl and a twirl. I'm going to test it. But just the way that it's the modeling, kind of the splotchiness here, this looks to me like nickel silver. Nickel silver will do that. But I might be wrong. It could be, uh, this may be inlaid brass and it could be sterling, but I doubt it. I'm very, you can rub sterling. You can get a certain smell. It just smells like nastiness, <laughs> like metal. It is not magnetic though, just FYI. So I will be cleaning that up and seeing if I even can. I don't know, we'll see. That's some of what I like to do. I like to clean things up. I don't know why, but I'm addicted to that. I think it's fun. This is really nice, has a nice weight. Oh, it's got a nice tag on it again. Is this another? Oh, this is another J. Crew piece. Really, really well made. This is J. Crew. Beautiful toggles, J. Crew. They they really go all out. So if you're into pearls, this is your jam right here. Um, 32 inches. Yeah, really really pretty. Um, yeah, probably fifteen dollars on that. Twelve to twelve to fifteen. If I was gonna sell it, that's what I would do. Yeah. What else? Um, that is gorgeous. Look at that. It's um, it's not glass. I don't think it's aquamarine. Do you? No, I think it's adventurine. It could be an aquamarine slab, though. I don't know what that kind of... It could also just be um, an agate that someone has dyed. So I'd have to do some more testing. And then we have some more here. That's beautiful. And the little corally peach beads here. Very springy. 
I love that kind of springy intentions. These are interesting. It isn't signed, um, but it's really, really pretty. I love that. Stunning. So I probably do $12 on that. All right, what else? Ooh, is this a winner? Oh, look at that. Look at that beauty. Look at that. So we have these, all these bezel set um, or inlaid stones. This is one of my favorite shapes and the word, I can't remember the word. Isn't that sad? Can't remember the word, uh, but I love that. Not cabochons. Oh, Lola. It's a late night. I'm filming late night. These are pearls and they're different. Oh, uh, never mind. Depressing. So these are shedding very badly. That's too bad because that would have been really cool if it would have turned out to be South Sea. And this would have been like platinum and diamonds. I'm not that lucky, y'all. Although I have been. I have found Chanel. I have but not in not in not in Goodwill Blue Box though. I have been lucky, but not with Goodwill Blue Box. All right, what's this? Is this a bracelet? Oh, zigzags. What do we got here, girls and boys and gentlemen? Everyone in between. All right, what is this? Look at this. These are zigzaggy and fabulous. I like these. If these were silver. Miss Girl, I would wear these. Yes, I would. Look at that. Those are, oh, look, they go together. Like, they're little zigzaggies. Oh, put your finger in there. <laughs> okay. That moment when you're entertaining yourself. Yeah. Go ahead and put your finger in there. <laughs> okay. It's like my, my cat. He's going to bite you. That's really cool. Those are earrings. Would they poke you, though? I feel like, no, maybe not. Um, those are really neat. I don't know. I'll probably put them in a lot, though. Oh my gosh, this is, oh look, we have the mate. We have the mate, we have the mate. Isn't that great, we have the mate. Oh, bad dad Jake jokes all day long. Look at that, sea anemones mixed with emeralds. Oh, darling, you could be so fabulous. Yeah, so these are pierced. And I, I think these are stunning. Maybe gorgeous with the dress that was that color. Oh, darlings, you'd be so pretty. I would probably go $15 on those. I think they're worth it. I'm worth it, like L'Oreal says. There's another one of those kind of bangle bracelets. That will go in a lot. What do we got here? More more, more stuff that's magnetic. You know, these are pretty, this is, I call this uh, Blue Box 101. They love to throw these magnetic junky things in here that no one can do anything with. Oh, what is this? Darlings, what is this? Oh, it's got the copper here, so, and copper showing here, so it isn't. It's brutalist, though. If this was silver, I would keep this. I'm not even kidding. And it's got some kind of, like, little, uh, sorry about the camera work here, y'all. It's got, it looks like a coin. I can't read what it says. I don't know. What does that say? Do you guys know what this is? It almost looks like a piece that came from, I have a friend that went to, she's from, uh, she's Persian. And she got me some really cool earrings that had all kinds of like writing on it like that. That's what it looks like. Um, very brutalist. I mean, if you're into it, look at it. Isn't that crazy cool? I like that. Oh, it's got a little hook doodler over here. Oh. And then it, you grab on, yeah. And then it hangs down. I don't know if this could be cleaned up, but I think it's freaking cool. I wish it, it's, you know, cause it's, it's it, everyone can wear it, but it's a small wrist. It's probably a seven inch. Yeah, that that's cool. See, why don't they make jewelry like that in sterling? That's so cool. I don't know, I'll have to investigate that one a little more. All right, let's see, what else do we have? Oh, we have the Lone Hideous earring so that one i'm not a fan of it's plastic it's just not doing anything for me she's going in a lot in the, in the crap lot over there this is a uh interesting bangle uh yeah arm candy got some arm candy for ya yeah it's made to look like bamboo but it's metal and it's painted so it's in really beautiful condition this is probably brass on the inside um yeah it's really, really pretty um, it's not my shtick. I'm not a bangle person. You know, I have so many, um, but I, I just, it's not my thing. Ooh, more rose quartz. 
There's a really pretty piece of rose quartz right there. So mama might be popping that out and keeping it. So there's like rose gold here. And these are, that's glass. And then this rhinestones, that's pretty. This is a, is it signed? It is, it says, oh, it's from Express. Like the limited Express, that's beautiful. Love the rose, the piece of rose quartz. Definitely a piece that you could take and wire wrap you know, if you were into that, but um, I probably wouldn't resell this one. It's a little, you know, the cord and you can't really clean these. Um, and there's a lot of, you know, discoloration, but that piece of rose quartz, yeah, I would definitely keep that. All right, what else? Oh, we have a wire, oh, that's another fishing lure. Check it, we're gonna go fishing, we're gonna catch some, I don't know what, doodly do, doodly do, some fishing thing. Ew, it's got hair in it, oh, gross. What about this? Is it gold? No, it is not. It looks like hearts. It is. It's been well loved, my friends. Oh my gosh, that's super cute. So the heart itself right there is actually the clasp. How cute is that? Super cute. Super cute. I can't get it to open, but it's, you know, it's all faded anyway. So scratch that, rewind. Um. This is a clay bead right here. It's pottery, it's a pottery bead. And then another pottery bead. And then another pottery bead. And then, I don't know what. Not sterling though. Probably about six inches. I don't know, I don't know what this is. I've seen these somewhere, I can't remember where. Um, I probably wouldn't sell this. I would put it in a scrap thing to, to bead with. Oh my gosh, here's one of these fish things. I love these. Look, this one's cloisonne. I hope the other one's in here. Look at the little fish. Isn't he gorge? Look at his little fishy eye and he articulates. Oh my gosh. I'll probably put that in my shadow box. If the other one doesn't turn up, he will live. Oh, he turns around. Look at him. He's so cute. He's beautiful. I need him in my life. I need him in my life, this fish. He's so beautiful. Um, I hope the other one's in here. He's stunning. I don't know what to say about him. He's so cute. Look at him. All right, what else? Let's see. Ooh, this guy's long. Ooh. It is acrylic. It is signed, so it's gray here. And it is, oh, Ralph Lauren. So this is a Ralph Lauren piece. Yeah, so this would be worth selling, definitely, because it's Ralph Lauren. And there are glass beads here, so that's a glass bead. What an odd mix to mix the non-glass beads with the glass beads. This is also glass. This is acrylic. And then we have some like rhinestone-y types. Really long, purple. I mean, you can't go wrong with purple. Probably 32 inches, Ralph Lauren, very beautiful. Definitely sellable. I probably do 20 to 25 on that. It's Ralph Lauren. Um, more bang, you know, more of these little banglies that, you know, are clearly magnetic. Then we have the, ooh, a shrimp ring. That's just a design. Um, it's just colored though. There's copper coming through. I don't know if it's signed. Does that say something? It says 18 karat gold. Oh, my glob. I'm lying, it doesn't. Um, gotcha. It doesn't say 18 karat gold. It says nada. It's just a fashion ring. Fashionably not the real thing. All right, what's this? Oh, little elephant guy. I've seen a million of these at the beach. Um, the elephants would be really cute though to make with, you know, if you're gonna bead or do crafting and so on. Um. Oh, just another little, like, necklace with little, you know, cheap discs on it. It's been really well loved. It'll go in a lot. So, so far, for my $54, are you feeling encouraged? I'm not. Here is that. This shouldn't even be in there, in my opinion. It's plastic. It's it's child stuff. I would make these with my niece. Um, that's not something that you could sell. You could let your kid wear it, I guess, your little ones. Um, rebead, redecorate, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but they're selling this for $54. Like it's 
really great. And a lot of people have FOMO about this. And I just want to demystify that, you guys. Blue Box is overrated. If you're not getting that vibe right now, this is my third one. And I'm going to tell you, I'm not impressed. I'll never buy another one. Um, I've gotten them from Florida. I've gotten them from New Jersey, New York. Um, I got one from California. The one I got from Florida was trash. Literally nothing as nice as this. This is super nice in comparison to that. Um, oh, what's this? Look at that. Ooh, you guys, that's super pretty. And then I threw it on the ground. That's huge. Check that bad boy out. It's a pin, I think. It's, it looks like Sarah Coventry, is it? Looks like it might be signed there. Is it worn off? No. No, I don't think it's signed. Is it magnetic? Oh, it's not magnetic up there. Well, it is a little bit. It's definitely magnetic there. How weird. How weird is that? Look at that. How weird is that? Look, magnetic. Weird. Ooh, and look, your, your hands get the Goodwill Blue Box, you know, nastiness all over it. Gross. I would definitely clean that up and sell it. Um, probably between $12 and $15. I know it's vintage. I would do research on it to see, you know, if it was some kind of, you know, designer that didn't sign, like Coro or what have you. Beautiful, beautiful piece you could wear or turn into a necklace. There's something huge and heavy in here, and I'm very curious about it. Holy cow. This thing is a monster. Look at this. Isn't it a monster? Look at that. Uh, very magnetic, but stunning. It looks like the real deal because it's so shiny. Does it have a name? It does. It is signed. It says, you are ridiculous. B-R. Ruby Road? No. It's the B and that goes that way and the R that goes either way. So it's not guessed. It's not, I can't think of what BR is. It's not Anya. Betsy Johnson. Mm -mm. This one I'm going to have to research. I'm going through all the, you know, the sort of some of the uh, retail names in my head and I can't. Bill Blast? No. Because that would be BB and not BR. Um, I don't know. Do you guys know what it is? Very pretty, though. I mean, absolutely so. Imagine that. So you've got your beautiful blue suit on or whatever color it is. And then you put that on around the collar. It's just a collar piece, like a choker. <sighs> Stunning. Stunna. A stunna. Another stunna. Um, I would have to research the piece, but I would probably do $15 to $20 on that, too, because it's in such beautiful condition. Um, you know, if you were into, into selling that. There looks like a couple more things in here. It looks like an earring. A lone earring. <laughs> um, it is signed. My, it looks like it says Rick's. This is a clay piece. Um, so that'll go in a lot because we don't have... Then we have this. This... Um, I don't think it's tortoise or plastic. I think it's that other stuff. Yeah, I can't think of the name of it right now, but it's, it's formaldehyde. Um, yeah, but it isn't tortoise shell, just FYI. But it is vintage, really, really old. Um, I'd probably sell that, and I'd probably do uh, 25 to $30 on it um, because of what it is. It's not Bakelite. It's the other thing, but right now I'm just, it's not fodder on. Somebody asked me on my channel about fodder on. I don't know a whole lot about Fauteron. I know that it was, the, but I do know that the chemical com composition of Fauteron is not the same as Bakelite. This is not Bakelite. Uh, it, it, you know, there's a lot of plastics out there. The most rare Bakelite, the one that, that everyone seeks after, is the very carved, deeply carved red cherry color that is the bangle. The Dream Sickle apparently is really popular. I have sold a lot of Bakelite. Um, in my eBay store, uh, I've had the blessings to come across pieces that were, um, you know, pennies on the dollar for me. And then I would flip them, uh, and just blessed in that way. This is a nice piece though. Um, I think that it's vintagey and, and nice. Um, it's just the way that it's made. It looks like it comes apart, but it actually does not. This would slip over a very, very small, like Ariana Grande type 
tiny hand, which is not Lola. No, that is not me. So, so far the winners, let me just, let's talk about the winners. The Academy Awards of jewelry for the Goodwill Blue Box were definitely this piece, okay? Definitely, definitely the uh, Talbot's Stunner here. A lot of necklaces in this. You know, you just never know what you're gonna get. This piece is semi-nice. Um, and there was, you know, just the Ralph Lauren piece is not, definitely nice. It's in great shape. These earrings, I'm totally digging these. There's a Monet bangle here. Very nice. There was a copper and brass bangle here. Very nice. Some, some definitely nice pieces that you could flip. So let's just do the math. I think I just made my money back, but it would take time. It wasn't stuff that was super in demand. Um, you know, you have to find the right buyer, but, um, you know, once you spin it up, could you make a business out of this? Yes. But if you're looking to flip jewelry, um, my encouragement to you is to hit the garage sales. You can pick pieces up like this for a dollar to $2, you know, um, you don't know what you're going to get with a blue box. I just happened to get a little bit luckier. Uh, I did get some more sellable pieces. I do see what people say about the New Jersey and New York group that they tend to send out nicer pieces. I'm loving, like I said, this rose quartz. Uh, my, my sister would have ended up with all these beads because that's who I would have given it to. Um, so yeah, um, but yeah, I, I love rose quartz. It's just a, such a pretty, pretty stone. Uh, and it's another one that I just don't think gets enough love. Uh, I don't think there's really one pay it just rec it just represents so many beautiful things you know love and peace and harmony and all the things but anyway and I just like the color right yeah so there were a lot of you know just to recap I'm gonna keep my little fish we didn't find sad we didn't find his little match which is sad he is super pretty he is going to live in my shadow box along with Mr. Owl let me grab him for you Mr. Owl how many licks does it take to get to the center of the Tootsie Pop, Mr. Owl? He is very, very stuck to Mr. Magnet. Manage, manage. Yeah, so that's really pretty. This is an Aeropostale piece. He is going to live in my shadow box along with the fish. Um, I'm going to get rid of the necklace component and just keep Mr. Owl. Um, while owls may be passe to you, I love them. I think they're fabulous. So that's it for the blue box. What do you guys think? Do you think that this was a fabulous, was it this a, just a woohoo party, wonderful, fabulous blue box? Or do you think that was redonkulous? Because I'm thinking that it's redonkulous. Uh, I could go and spend $54 at an auction on jewelry, on a group of jewelry, and get a lot more for my money. And have sterling and maybe gold. And I have done that. Yes, I have. Oh, yes, I have. Uh, so, yeah, I really don't like buying things like that where you can't see what it is. And then this piece is a maybe sterling, but I'm thinking it's nickel silver with brass. You guys, tell me what this is. I have no idea. It looks like something Spanish in, in its intent. Like, it looks like Mexican, like something that, you know, it really does. That's what it reminds me of. Not the colors, because it would be brighter, like a yellow, and it would be... But I don't know what it is. Do you guys know? It's cool though, and it's super heavy and chunky. So if you like that. Um, and then we had this one we didn't find, so he'll go in the lot. Yeah. So oh, and then this was this this beautiful Byzantine looking com component with a necklace that I've got to clean up. Look at that. Isn't that a stunner? It's stunning. So fabulous. I'm loving it. All right. So that's it for me, guys. I appreciate you. Uh, please give this video a like and a thumbs up. And for those of you who give it a thumbs down, what's wrong with you? Like, really? You want to hate on a, on a female? Hate on a girl? I don't hate on you. I like your videos. I don't know what your problem is. You got 99 problems and I am not one of them. <laughs> now, I live by the I live by the do you uh, thought process. So do you. Um, so any of my friends out there that are selling, I wish you well. Uh, I hope you're doing really, really well. Um, my little friend from Wisconsin that has been selling, she's been uh, working really hard. She's awesome. I think, did I, she's from Minnesota. Did I mess that up? She's from the North and she has a really cute accent. I love her. Her sister will come along with her sometimes. She's great. So check her channel out. I think I mentioned her in one of my videos. 
Um, yeah, and check out Flannery Grace Good Jewelry. You can check her out on Instagram. You can check her out on Facebook. Flannery Grace Good. She's a little bit extra of a person uh, as far as, you know, she's a cursor and kind of, you know, that kind of thing. So if that offends you, just, you know, you might want to look that over. Artsy people, I tend to give them a pass. They tend to be a little extra and that's all right. You can be extra. You can do you. Um, she's had some rough things happen to her lately, but um, beautiful things. She ha makes a huge locust um, set with this big giant uh, labradorite. And I have been envying and eyeing that for years. I want that so badly. She made a ring once that opened and it was sterling. And, and that's kind of the problem. Sometimes she does multimedia with like sterlingy, you know, type stuff like this. But then she'll mix it with gold and I don't like that. I just want the sterling. This is my Ilocaca sapphire. What do you guys think? Have you picked any sapphire up, the, the pink sapphire up? If you're a gem lover, you got to get some. It's so pretty. It's, it's winking at you. It's so pretty. I'm crusty. Look how crusty. I'm using Josie Moran and look how crusty I am. I can't even believe it. I don't know. It is what it is. Anyway, I'm going to go wash the nastiness off my hands, which is that you have that to look forward. Normally, I, I wear gloves when I pick through this stuff because it's just gross. You get hair and uh, nasty skin cells. And, uh, it'll just make you, yeah. So that's that. Um, appreciate you guys. I hope you're doing really, really well, like I said. And if you're interested in any of this, you know, you can go to my uh, eBay store and uh, I have a huge box there that's much better than this for uh, $60, I believe. And you get a ton of new vintage, all the things, because like I said, I'm spinning my shop down and I'm just going to focus on um, higher end pieces. So sterling, um, some vintage if it's higher end kind of thing. Um, it just depends. I may list this piece, actually, this piece. I may list this uh, for for $35 or $40. That's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. This piece I probably won't list. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Um, but if you're interested in any of it, just reach out to me by an email at vibinestategems or at gmail.com. Um, it's the same name as my channel. My eBay is the same name as my channel. I'm not hard to find because it's all the same, matchy-matchy. Uh, yeah, and you, if you're interested in any of this, just, just reach out to me through email and let me know. And uh, yeah, uh, I'll definitely give you prices. And let me let me tell you something. If you let me know, you go buy something in my eBay store at vibinestategems.com or vibinestategems at eBay, um, on eBay rather. Um, I always throw in extra goodies for my viewers. I don't just send you the one item. I am not that person. Uh, I don't get people who have all these viewers and they don't send out extra things. That's not me. If I have extra things, I'm going to send them to you because, you know, why not? That's what we're here to do. I'm, I appreciate you all for watching me and encouraging me. And I certainly encourage you and watch your videos. And uh, if you're not a video person and you're watching mine, I hope you're doing well. And uh, there's a friend out there that has purchased from my shop. I want to say hey to you, girl. I hope you're doing okay. And then a friend that was having... Um, a surgery. I hope you've recovered and you're doing okay. I've thought about you actually and been praying for you. I hope you're doing okay. Love and light to you. And yeah, so that's me. And I hope you guys uh, kind of take a look at Good Goodwill Blue Box and maybe they'll make a change. You know, I think if I can dispel some of the FOMO with that and you're like, oh, I really want to spend the money, but you know, I really want to start a business, start small and go from there. And that's my advice to you. Um, don't go and spend a bunch of money on blue box. You'll be disappointed and you will have wasted your money. This is one of the better boxes. I literally have gotten a box of trash before where it just all went in the landfill. It was hair ties and it looked like the, they had swept the floor after they'd gone through jewelry and then threw it in a box and sent it to me. Uh, I was pretty mad about that. And you know, I, I was out $30. Now they're, they're $54. This isn't $54 worth of stuff. It, I will be hard pressed. I mean, I'm not worried about the money, but I now, I mean, I would, I would be hard pressed to make the money out of this. Um, I think I could break even. Certainly there was enough pieces to maybe break even, but a lot of it is craft and, or as I like to say, crap jewelry, <laughs> it's crap. Um, and I don't mean to be negative. I mean, that's not what I'm here for, but at the same time, I, you know, I just don't want to see people getting in and, you know, they want to, Hey, I want to start a business. What do you think? Uh, you can definitely flip jewelry online. I have made, I have done well. I have, um, I've, I've done really well with it and enjoyed it. 
along the way. And um, I just sent out some pieces the other day to someone who um, I just sent her extra stuff. I was like, yeah, she ordered a Coro necklace. And I'm like, yeah, let's throw in another one because I had one. I threw in the bracelet to match because that's how I do. <laughs> All right, guys, that's me. Love and light to you. And I hope you, this is my owl. Look, in the meantime, say goodbye to my owl. Ooh. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. And hopefully I'm going to upload a video regarding um, that big box of jewelry that I have for sale. It is much better than all of this for the same price. Have a good one. Love and light. Be safe.